I thought for our first race we could go to Tokyo. And do initial D. Let's see, where is it? Oh, there we are. I have, I have like a buttload of cars in my library. But, with that said, let's get to it. Something I really want to do is do challenges on this game. And, you know, test out like different cars and see like, you know, which one would end up, you know, actually winning. And I actually did a few races with this car. And in the beginning of like each race, usually the car, like usually this car usually starts up pretty like, slowly, but then it'll just catch up like gradually. And um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Kind of having a hard time trying to catch up to like the speed six and whatever car that is. We got hit by a Corvette. Yeah, some races, uh, this car will do pretty good, like, Special Stage Route 5 wet. But, when it comes to races like this, um, it could be kind of, it could be kind of tricky. Oh no, the car reached the speed limit. Okay. And we're catching up to this black car. I'm not sure what the name of this car is. Okay, come on. Hey. Okay, let's see. Sharp turn here. Okay, slow down, slow down. Some of the cars I play in this game, they sometimes they like to slide like the GT40 race car. Um, definitely one of my favorite cars in the game, but Honestly, like some of the turns, it just slides. It's it gets kind of bad. My gosh, dude, playing this game with headphones, it is a truly different experience. Yeah, you get the full like HD like engine sound. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, this great Corvette. It keeps telling like past us. Like I I don't I don't know why it keeps. Dude, keep your space. Yeah. Although I think it's actually kind of weird that I'm playing a car from an anime. Uh, show and I never like really got too much into anime. The only anime I really got been interested in was Doki Doki Literature Club, but that's about it. And uh, you know, it's like I want, it's like I do want to get into Initial D, but um, the thing is, it's just like a lot of the videos I see on YouTube, um, a lot of them are just dub in like Japanese and of course I don't really speak Japanese so I just choose not to watch it. I mean like there might be some dubbing of the show in English but honestly I'm just not sure. But I, but I think I heard rumors that the protagonist of the show that owns this car I'm driving is a fan of Gran Turismo so that's pretty cool. I'm a very experienced driver in this game. This, me in this game, trust me, it goes a long way. Ah, uh, speed six, no, 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 go back, stay back. Yeah, believe me, I, uh, I, so I, dr I drove in the speed six, and it is a very fast vehicle. Without, like, like, without going to, like, the tune-up shop and, you know, getting whatever parts you want for it. It's, uh, like, just by itself, it's a pretty quick car. If it wasn't for that car, I probably wouldn't have cars like what I'm driving right now today. Like, in the career uh, mode that, like, the Speed 6, it actually pretty much saved my butt. I did an endurance race with it on the Super Speedway, and I won it, and I got, like, a very fast car that happens to go on dirt, and, um... Yeah, from then on, I just pretty much just got a whole lot of money, and uh, I just got a big collection of cars. Really nice. Is it weird that I'm talking about like what I've been doing with this game while I'm like struggling to get this car behind me? Yeah, this this car is not going down without a fight. Come on. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, this guy's tailing me. Okay, and... Oh, that... Um, that's supposed to bump into the wall, not boost him. Oh, crap. That, that might ruin the rest of the race for us. Okay. Whatever. We passed these guys the first time. We can definitely pass them a second time. And I... I might have put some tuna into this car. Oh my god. It's like you have and you haven't, and I have. Here we go. See, that's... See, that's my experience with this car. It, uh... It... It's a little slow, like, on the start of the race, but later, but then later in the race, it'll catch up. Is that actually what happens in the initial game? I am not sure. Like I said, I, uh, I barely, like, watch, like, any clips from that show. Okay, here we are. Tell him pass him. There we go. We go gear five. Okay, and... Boom. <laughs> See ya, sucker. Okay, here we go. Turn. Okay, and we are at the final lap. Who, who will win? Me or the yellow speed sucks? Come on. Boom. Ah, uh, yeah. This mount comes really in handy with the test course. With my experience with the test course, what you pretty much do, you just have to have, like, a car that won't get to, like, the red line and automatic slow down. Do not strain the car's engine, at least my guess. And pretty much what that, and pretty much what a test course is, is it's pretty much just, like, draft on your opponent's butt as much as you can to win. This guy's getting outrun by a, uh, let's see, what's the name of this car? GT Apex? I don't know, it's a really long name. Ah, oh, yeah, dude. There we go. Okay. Last two turns. There we go. Hit some balls. Slide on it a little bit. Okay. Gears three. Oh, dude. Come on. Dude. Okay, come on, dude. Go. Go. Okay. Bump. Bump. <laughs> No, no, dude. <laughs> Stay behind me. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yes. And, of course, my signature move. That's how you want to race. Well, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little challenge. I'll definitely be looking forward to, ma to making more Gran Turismo 3 races. And until then, see you guys. Drive on peace. Oh!